it's important to take care of your semi tires and tires in general. Uh, a few ways why um, they can blow off of a trailer and actually hurt somebody that could be falling behind them. So, I mean, if you're a parent or anybody who's ever driven a semi tire, has a flat, and doesn't know how to dismount or remount, well, that's what I'm going to show you today. So, let's get started. First, you're going to have to take the valve stem out. And it is a little loud, so it will be probably hard to hear. And it takes a few minutes or just a few minutes. Once, once this air comes out of this tire, we'll go ahead and on the side here. You don't want to lube before you bust the beads. You want to bust the beads on this side and on this side, and then you'll flip it over and you'll bust the beads on the opposite side on the same, the same way you did on the front. So like I said, you don't lube before you bust because uh, that kind of sounds a little dirty, but you don't lube before you bust. Uh, like I said, these tires are cold, so they'll be hard to bust, so we'll use. We'll have to use this here, and what we'll do with this, you take this in here, and you usually hit right. You've got to hit good enough to where it'll bust the bead off. Usually, you can kick with your foot, and it'll bust it off. But we'll end up having to use the hammer probably today. And it looks like the air is almost out of this tire, so we'll see what it looks like. As you can see, the process takes a little while to let the air come out, but this wasn't already dismounted tired. It was already full of air. Um, on the road, you probably, the, air, the tire was probably all, already out of air, so you would have to uh, you would basically start with the dismounting process, and then once you get the tire off, like you said, you got to have the right tools. you got to have the bead blasters like I have sitting over here, uh, the lube. You're going to have your crowbars. Because you're going to have to use your curb bars, and then you've got your tools for the tires, and you've got your hammer. And like with the bead blaster, that's for if the tire does not line up at the end when you're remounting, I'll probably have to use that bead blaster a uh, minute. If the rubber does not line up with the, uh, the rim, then you'll have to blast air into that so it'll line up, and you, then you can continually fill your tire up with air. So I think we're almost out of air here. Um, we'll get started once this gets about done. Did you get that? Like I said, you can use your foot and bust the side of the bead, but with this being a, not a aluminum rim, it makes it hard, so you're going to have to use your hammer. You want to get it right in there and hit it good enough to where it'll bust the bead. And you can tell, usually when it busts the bead like that, you can see that it brought the tire off the rim, so you know you hit it good, and then you'll come around and know you got to get the other side. You want to line up and bust that, and you can see that you busted the rim. So what you want to do is you want to pick the tire up and then lay it down. We always have a pad down on the ground. So if this is aluminum rim, you get more care to size the rim up. You would be out of money. So we lay this back down. Right here, and then you've got beads on this side also. So you want to bust the beads on here, and then you're right off to the side, so you 
hit it and you'll bust one of these. And you'll come around and bust the other. So you'll see it's busted. And then at this point you want to lube the tire so you can use your crow bars to get it off. So you'll go ahead and start lubing around the rim. And then you want to flip it over and you want to lube the other side also. You'll, you'll flip it back over because you always want the valve stem down facing the ground. So you'll you put this down here and then you'll take both your crew bars and you'll want to take this in here that's got the little thing sticking up and you want to stick this in the uh, in the tire and you want to grab your other crew bar with you and you're going to bring this over got it like that you take your foot and you step on it like that and then you're going to want to take this small one to where it looks like it's going downward and you'll poke that in there and this takes a while sometimes if you're not good like me and you can't get it in the rim and you have problems with that but you get it you got to get it in there to where and see I went too far there and you can't push up so you just scoot it over a little bit try it again and there you see I've got it right so now it's going to start flipping the tire over so you just keep moving your crowbar you take your little one out and you can get it out and you do the same thing all the way around so you can get this rip tire almost completely off the rim and then once you get so far you can just pop this out You got it off the rim. So you put the rim down. You lift your tire up. And you'll grab this. Well, you want to put it in like this. You want to push it up against your leg a little bit. And you want to flip the bar. And then you'll start to bring it back. And once the rim goes down, you pick up. And then you've completely dismounted your tire. So what we'll go ahead and do, since we've got it dismounted, we'll go ahead and we'll remount. So we'll take the tire, we'll throw it back down like this, and you just start taking your knee and you walk it around until you get it like that there. And then you grab, you'll grab the uh, tire to where it does this. And you want to step here. You're going to want to start. Start off on this side here. Start here. And you'll start bringing the tire down. Just keep walking with it. Like I said, you'll keep walking with it. You can get it, get it down. And you've got your tire on. So at this point, you're ready to just tilt, air it back up. So we've got a bucket here. I just dropped my mask. Anyway, you'll take the tire. This here. 
you don't want to drop it on to where it's on the bucket right. Go ahead and cut it real quick. All right, you'll start with your air head. You put it on the valve. We're going to take the blaster. We're going to put it right here. And now it's going to fill up with the air. You just let this fill up with its air. You'll take this off and you got to get this stem in where it'll stop doing with the air. So you get it off, put it in and twist it down. Now you want to do your how you remount and dismount a semi-tire. I'd like to give a thanks to Tracy A. Green Incorporated for letting me be here today to do this with his tires at his shop. And a special thanks to Elite Systems. Thank you.